Thank you for staying with us on News Now. Human rights lawyer Femi Falano says the suffering of the Nigerian people is worsening over the currency crunch. Adding that President Mohamed Buhari's Thursday broadcast gave no hope. The chairman of the Alliance on Surviving COVID-19 and Beyond stated this in a statement he signed on Thursday. According to him, Buhari's decision to allow only the 200 Naira note in circulation and keep the old 500 Naira and 1000 Naira note out of circulation is not enough to end the crisis, saying that there are not enough old 200 Naira notes to replace all the old 1000 and 500 Naira notes. Noting that the crisis was created by the government, Falano said it is only the government that can end it adding that unless firm action is taken, the crisis will get worse in the days to come. Falano, also a senior advocate of Nigeria, said the decision of the president to exclude old 500 naira and 1,000 naira notes from legal tender is of no legal effect as it constitutes a con contravention of section 287, subsection 1 of the constitution. He urged the federal government to comply with the judgment of the Supreme Court, which ordered that the old notes remain legal tender without any further delay. The vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Yusuf Dati, on Thursday criticized the Central Bank of Nigeria and President Muhammad Buhari over the Naira redesign describing the policy as poorly implemented and reflecting weakness on the president's part. Dati spoke on Thursday during the court's visit to the, to the palace of the OB of Onicha, Igwe Alfred Achibe, where he said his principal, Peter OB, would win the February 25th presidential poll. Dati stated that the pendulum was swinging towards OB's victory, as according to him, only the Labour Party candidate among the leading presidential candidates has a clean record after leaving office as governor. He said that apart from Peter Obi being the most decent and qualified among his fellow contestants, 2023 is a turn of the, Igbo, of the Ndigbo and Christians to produce the next president of Nigeria. And that's it on News Now at this point. Many thanks for watching. Coming up next, is um, entertainment business. Hello and welcome to Entertainment Business. I am Choma Amari Bulam. Veteran Nollywood actress Maureen Okpoko has passionately appealed to Nigerians to come to her aid as she suddenly went blind. The actress who made the call in a trending video on the internet indicated that she needed urgent medical attention or she would lose her sight completely. The alien actress explains that she needs money to treat vision impairments and blindness, hence the need to reach out to Nigerians. The 62-year-old Anambra-born actress has starred in many Nollywood films such as Enemy of Light, The Banker, Sorrowful, Dear Mother, among others. I suddenly lost my sight. That means I can no longer see or I cannot see for now. I am seeking for your financial assistance. It will be greatly appreciated if you all can come to my aid. I also need your prayers and words of encouragement. The family of late South African rapper Kieran Forbes, popularly known as AKA, has announced plans to continue with the planned release of his upcoming album, Mass Country. Before his death, Forbes had shared several posts on his social media platforms, promoting his new album slated for release this February. According to a press statement shared via the artist's official Instagram page on Thursday, the family will proceed with the release as scheduled in order to honor his legacy. And away from that, actor Bruce Willis has frontal temporal dementia, his family said Thursday in a heartfelt Instagram post. Ex-wife Demi Moore and Rama Willis, the couple's eldest daughter, shared that the actor's aphasia diagnosis, which the family had announced in March 2022, has progressed. 
They wrote in their respective Instagram posts that challenges with communication are just one symptom of the disease Bruce faces. But while this is painful, it is a relief to finally have a clear diagnosis. In March, the family has said Willis would be stepping away from his career following the aphasia diagnosis, which they said had impacted his cognitive abilities. According to the Mayo Clinic, frontotemporal dementia, known as FTD, is an umbrella term for a group of brain disorders that primarily affect the frontal and temporal lobes of the brain, and these areas uh, of the brain are generally associated with personality, behavior, and language. And it's a wrap on entertainment business. I am Choma Amari Bulam. Up next is Stock Market Report. The Nigerian Exchange Limited closed on Friday on a negative note as the All Share Index declined by 1.3% to settle at 53,840.46 basis points. As the market capitalization closed at 29.310 trillion naira from the previous close of 29.696 trillion naira respectively. On the gainers list, while Triple G and Company gained 9.9% to close at 1.99 COBO, Coronation Insurance PLC and Living Trust Mortgage gained 9.8% and 6.0% to close at 45 Carbo and 2.30 Carbo. In that order, meanwhile, UPDC PLC, which is BLC, and Lasaco Insurance PLC added 4.2% and 4.1% in value to close at 1.00 Naira and 1.02 Carbo, respectively. On the flip side, Farm Deco PLC recorded a 10% point a 10.0% loss to close at 1.89 Kobo. Orders include RT Brisco PLC with a loss 6.7% to sell at 28 Kobo. Airtel Africa PLC made a 6.0% depreciation to close at 1,560 Naira. Fidelity Bank PLC took a 5.4% hit to sell at 4.80 Kobo, while FCMB Group PLC saw a 3.8% slide to close the day at 4.45 Kobo. And that's it on Stock Market Report. And I'm Samuel Okata. And that's it.